hello, I'm Epiphany Castro, albeit Epiphany Castro with a funky virus and a really raspy voice. So um, I have not been able to blog for the last couple of days because I really, I could barely talk. My throat was so sore and my glands were so swollen and it was really an effort to speak, which for somebody like me is hard. So let's just get to it. This is 30 days and 30 nights of questions. And um, I'm a wee bit behind. This should be another day, but we're going to pretend it's day six, right? Of 30 days, 30 nights, because we just mysteriously lost two days due to this virus. The funky thing about viruses is you just have to let them um, run their course. They can't be treated with antibiotics or anything like that. But I have a couple of questions. Some of y'all are shy and don't like to post your questions inside of the event. So you message me. And so, pardon me. No, it's not soda. It is Dasani um, sparkling apple infused water. Um, Cause I am taking cough syrup with a wee bit of codeine in it so that I can sleep now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Um, so <laughs> my throat gets dry. So pardon my um, voice. I, I know I don't really sound like myself. I sound kind of like, I don't know, a turtle. A, do turtles talk? I, you know what? I don't know. Blame it on the coating. All right, so let's get to it. I had a couple of questions. Oh, and by the way, I've gotten so many comments about this today. Okay, what it is. A couple of years ago, I made these hair bands. They're, it's a hair band, and I, I tie cowrie shells in them and, and just made a head, headband out of it. And, oh, my goodness. Everybody just thought I had these, like, floating cowrie shells in my hair. No. Um, it's a headband because my hair is really growing, if you hadn't noticed. I'm not bald anymore, which was cool at the time, but um, I wasn't having a good hair day. <laughs> not today, not today, son. Okay, so um, first question, what would you describe as your personal style and who is your style icon? Um... My, I don't have a personal style. I have things I like and things I straight up do not like, okay? Um, so the short answer to that is I would describe my personal style as eclectic because I like a lot of things depending on my mood. Sometimes I like hippie sundresses and flat sandals. Sometimes I like um, architectural cut bodycon dresses and five inch heels. Sometimes I like skinny jeans and a dope t-shirt. Sometimes I like, well, I'm in workout stuff now, right? So, um, sometimes I like, you know, I'm, I'm not a sneaker person. That I can say. Y'all know I love shoes. I'm not a sneaker person. I own a uh, Three pair, two pair of sneakers, actually. I have um, a pair of, what are these? New Balance and a pair of Adidas, like fly old school black and white Adidas. I have those. And I like Puma old school. I like skater shoes. Um, I like Converse. I just don't like wearing them. They're not comfortable to me. Um, I have really high arches, so I need some support. So um, my personal style, I would describe as eclectic. Um, I've never been loyal to one style. There are straight up things I don't like. I don't do capri pants. I'm five foot one. They make me look short. Um, I rarely wear a booty unless it's a super fly booty because on short people, they make your legs look like uh, drumettes. You know, I'm always about lengthening, lengthening, right? I, I don't need anything that makes me look shorter or cut my body in half. I am five foot one. I'm small, but I'm not thin. Um, I'm fit, but I'm curvy. I have a big chest. I got a big booty. Um, so we, I, I think we should dress to um, accommodate 
who we are in that moment, not who we are hoping to be or who we used to be. Okay, that's really smart. I know with me, it took me a long time to realize I was getting smaller and smaller. I would still um, pick up the wrong size or look at it three times because y'all know I'm blind. I'm like, is this really a size four? Is this really a size six? You know. So anyway, um, and as far as a style Ica, there are many people that have super dope style, but I don't look up to any um, like world famous you know, I mean, I love Miss Ross. I think she is fantastical. You know, um, I, I I think some people have magnificent style. But my personal style mentor is my fairy godfather, Darlando. Um, he has taught me more since 2010 than I've learned in my entire life about fashion and dressing for myself and uh, investing in certain pieces for myself. Um, pet peeves about fashion. Uh, I, I, I think a woman needs to wear a proper undergarment. If you gotta wear a Spanx, and I do wear a Spanx. In fact, wear two. Um, by the way, excuse my hands. Do you see this? Life of a preschool teacher. My manicure is shot, right? But this is uh, me today doing a lot of projects with liquid watercolor. So I got to go and get a nice soaking. But I digress. Um, what was I saying? Um, style, 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 style. Oh, things I... Um, well, let's see. Let me... Let me I, I was thinking about the things that I just are unacceptable to me fashion-wise. Fanny packs. They should be burned. I know this because I live in Berkeley and it's still acceptable to many to rock them. There is no cute fanny pack. Stop it. Burn it. Birkenstocks. I'm a hippie like everybody else, but they just are not cute on any level. You can wear them gardening at home, but don't step out your house with them on. Think of them as slippers. Would you leave your house in slippers? My mama wouldn't let me leave the house in slippers or rollers in my hair. There's a reason why. There, It's not acceptable. And lastly, my biggest one, Crocs. Please, for the love of all that's good and holy, stop it. No Crocs. No Crocs. They are the ugliest shoe ever made. I am a shoe-aholic. It offends me. <laughs> I should sue that company because it offends my eyes so badly. I hate Crocs. Um, so my personal style is eclectic. Do I have a style icon? No, I have a style mentor, which is even better. Y'all wish. Everybody should have a fairy godfather like I do. Um, I love you, Darlando. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Um, and what I don't dig. Um, I, I said Capri pants. I don't like free pants, and I don't like fanny packs. I don't like Birkenstocks, and hell no, nah, don't get down with no Crocs. And um, if, if you need to wear a good bra and a good Spanx, please do. It's an investment in yourself. I, I, I believe in that. You know, there's so many women that don't even wear the right bra size. Did you know that? Go and get measured, man. It's a good look. Um, that's it. Um, I'm about... That's about it I can do on this day. <coughs> this cough is a motherfucker. I hate it. I hate it. Um, but as you can see, I am cheerful. I'm sick, but I'm cheerful. It takes a lot to get me really down. It, it really does. It really does. And I'm so thrilled because I just got off the phone with Sunny Patterson. Is she super fly or what? Sonny Patterson, Ursula Rucker, you are <laughs> poetic goddesses. I just, mm. this show this weekend is going to be the bomb. I love it. So um, I'm going to see you. I'm hoping that tomorrow I'll be even better and ready to go. And um, oh, as you can see, do I look, see? Bags under the eyes from staying up all night coughing. Not cute. Of course, there's concealer. 
My fairy godfather taught me that. You, a girl, let me recommend the best concealer on the face of the earth. Bobbi Brown Touch Up Stick. Let me say it again. Bobbi Brown Touch Up Stick is the best concealer for light to dark. I don't care what color you are. She got your shade. She is not a trendy makeup artist, so her line, hence, is not trendy. It is the shit. Um, go get you some. All right? That's your tip for the day. I'll see ya. Bye, everybody.